Hello, my name is Tushar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney, Australia. Today, I will show you how to set up and use a custom Amazon CloudFront distribution with your API Gateway APIs. Let's get started. This demonstration will be in two parts, using the API Gateway APIs default URL and using an API Gateway custom domain name. These are two prerequisites for our demonstration. Let's first make sure that you already have an SSL TLS certificate in AWS Certificate Manager in the US East 1 region and in the AWS region where API Gateway REST API will be created. We will use this when we create the API Gateway custom domain name. To get a certificate for a domain name that's issued by or imported into ACM, follow these steps. Register your internet domain. You can use either Amazon Route 53 or a third-party accredited domain registrar. We will be using Amazon Route 53 for this demonstration. Either create an SSL TLS certificate for the domain name in ACM or import one into ACM. We will also need an AWS Lambda function that we will integrate with an API Gateway REST API. Create the API. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. Select Create API. On the REST API, choose the Build button. On the API details, leave the default selected option New API selected. Enter a name for your API. I'm giving my API name the name of Custom CloudFront Distribution. Choose the Create API button. On the newly created page for the API, create a resource by choosing Create Resource. On the Create Resource console page, on Resource Name, enter Greetings. Choose Create Resource to create the resource. Choose the Create Method button to create a method. On the Create Method page, select Get for method type and select Lambda function for integration type. Then toggle the Lambda proxy integration button and select the Lambda function to integrate the function. Choose Create Method. Let's deploy our API by choosing the Deploy API button. Let's select New Stage and give the stage a name. I will use the stage name of Dev. Under the stages, expand the dev forward slash and greetings resources by choosing the expand list button. Select the get method and then copy the invoke URL. Test the API using curl to make sure that the API is working correctly. Use this command. Creating the CloudFront distribution. In the search bar, search for CloudFront and then select it. Choose Create Distribution and select the options that I describe here. Origin Domain. Use the drop down list to find the API that we created by its name, Custom CloudFront Distribution. For protocol, we must select HTTPS only because API Gateway doesn't support the HTTP protocol. Choose the minimum origin SSL protocol of your choice. Note that the only option that's not valid here is SSL v3 because API Gateway APIs don't support it. It's a best practice to use TLS v1.2, so that's what I'm going to use. Origin path. Use the stage that you want with the forward slash character at the beginning. In my case, I will use forward slash dev. You can make other modification to the distribution such as including the default caching behavior of the CloudFront distribution. Select the appropriate choice for you for the web application firewall. I'm choosing don't enable security protections. Create the distribution by choosing the create distribution button. The distribution will go into deploying state and it may take some time to complete. Wait until last modified changes from deploying to deployed. Copy the CloudFront domain name and use curl again to test it. Invoke your API form using the custom CloudFront distribution. Wait until last modified changes from deploying to a timestamp similar to a date shown here. So now we successfully called our API through CloudFront distribution that we created based on the API Gateway API default URL. Custom Domain Setup after logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. Select Custom Domain Names from the menu on the left-hand side of the page. Choose the Create button on the page to start creating the custom domain. 
add the domain name that you want to use on in this demonstration. Note that the domain name must be covered by the certificate that I mentioned earlier. Under endpoint configuration, choose the certificate that I mentioned earlier. Create the custom domain name. After the custom domain is created, let's make sure that we copy the API gateway target domain name of the custom domain name. We will need it on the CloudFront distribution configuration. On the same page, select and go to API Mappings tab. Choose Configure API Mappings. Choose Add New Mapping. Select the created API and stage from the drop-down list and enter a path. I will use Dev, which is the same as that of stage name. Choose Save. Creating the CloudFront distribution to route the custom domain requests. In the search bar, search for CloudFront and then select it. Choose Create Distribution and select the options that I describe here. Origin Domain. Paste the API Gateway target domain name which was copied from API Gateway custom domain name configuration. Protocol. Make sure to select HTTPS only because API Gateway doesn't support HTTP protocol. Choose the minimum origin SSL protocol that you want. Note that only option that's not valid here is SSL v3 because API Gateway APIs don't support it. It's a best practice to use TLS v1.2, so that's what I'm going to use. Origin path. Enter the API custom domain name mappings path with a forward at the beginning. In my case, I will use forward slash dev. Default caching behavior, user cache key and origin request. Select legacy cache settings and choose include the following headers on the headers dropdown list. Then select the host from the list of headers that appear. You can configure any other headers that you want to be forwarded to API Gateway here. You make other modifications to the distribution such as including the default caching behavior of the CloudFront distribution. Select the appropriate choice for your use case on web application firewall. I am choosing do not enable security protections. Create the distribution by choosing the create distribution button. The distribution goes into the deploying state, which will take some time before it completes. Set up an alternate domain name on the CloudFront distribution. While the CloudFront distribution is deploying, you can set up the alternate domain name. Select the general tab and then select edit on the settings section. On alternate domain name CNAME, choose the add item button and then enter the custom domain that we created earlier. For the custom SSL certificate, choose the certificate that I mentioned earlier. Save these changes. Set up Route 53 DNS. In the search bar, search for Route 53. To create the DNS record, select the public hosted zone that we talked about at the beginning of this video. Create a new record. Provide the record name that is the same as the custom domain name. On the page that comes up, under the subdomain of the custom domain, for record type, leave the defaults, A routes traffic to an IPv4 address and some AWS resources, option selected. Toggle the alias radio button, then in the two drop-down lists that appear, select alias to CloudFront distribution. Choose the CloudFront domain name in the choose distribution drop-down list. Save the record that we just created. Wait for the DNS record to propagate. Also, verify that the CloudFront distribution has completed deploying and then invoke the API using a custom CloudFront distribution and a custom domain name. And now you know how to set up and use custom CloudFront distribution with your API Gateway APIs. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.